If you're planning to use your drone cell with a microcontroller, there are a few settings that you can set to make your life a little bit easier. All my code that I release to interface with the Axon have these settings configured. So if you want to use that code, you have to follow this video. So right when you get your drone cell, it's configured to 38400 baud. I'm plugging it into my breadboard now to show you what communication comes, preloaded. So you plug it in, the green light goes on. If you look at my computer, I'm going to open up Hyperterminal. Name doesn't matter, name it whatever you want. Make sure you're opening the right COM port. 38400 baud, no flow control. Okay, and now I'm connected. Now I can turn on my drone cell. And if you look on my computer, I get the drone cell talking to me. There's no SIM card inside, so it says C pin not inserted. And right now I can just talk, and whatever I write is echoed on screen, and the responses are okay, things like that. Now that's fine. And I can make phone calls from this, and I could do whatever I want, just typing commands straight in. So this is really great for humans to use because you type something, and it's there. What you see is what you get. But for microcontrollers, anytime you were to set any command, let's say just A's, it would be echoed back to you, and that's just unnecessary. So what I'm going to do instead is put some settings to, conf to configure it for easy microcontroller use. The first setting I'm going to do is disable the local echo. So you do ATE0 and now AND W. And what this does, the AND W is it saves it to memory so you don't have to do it each time. So here's AT and now I'm just typing, I'm typing, I'm typing, nothing comes up. And I, I type and I got an error because I typed an invalid command. Another thing that can get annoying is this OK and error. Because OK is two characters, error is five characters, it'd be much easier just to expect one character. So the next one is short response. So I'm typing A, T, V, 0, and W, ampersand W, enter. And now I get the short response 0. So for example, right now I'm typing A, T. You don't see it on screen because echo is disabled. And I hit enter, and I get 0. But if I type an invalid command, like A, T, S, some random thing, I get 4, which is an error. And right now your drone cell is set. You can use it with a microcontroller, you can do whatever you want. Now for example, when I turn this off, I get normal power down. When I turn it back on, the settings are still saved. So I still get this message in front, but right now I'm typing AT, and there's no echo on screen. I hit enter, and I get zero, the error code. Zero is OK, and four is error. And that's it. Your drone cell is ready for use with a microcontroller.